They always say that the show must go on, but in my world, the show does not go on without coffee. <laughs> Hola y bienvenido a Style Your Lipstick. El pintalabio que tengo puesto para este video is by Kat Von D and it's called Lolita. I'm freaking exhausted. I've been running back to back to back. I haven't done that since I've been sick. And now that I feel so much stronger and happier in my body, I'm running and running. I usually come back with a lot of energy and today I came back exhausted. Even my best friend here is not helping me, but how could she? She's decaf. <laughs> This video is going to be an Aritzia haul. I got some cute pieces that I want to show you guys. You already know that I love shopping. I'm like the girl's girl. Like I'm really girly when it comes to like fashion and makeup and things like that. I love it. But I could be a tomboy when it comes to like the New York City lifestyle and then working out and things like that. I'm like a nice mix of both, right? It's such a juxtaposition. <laughs> Let's get into it, bitch. Bitch is trying to outshine me and become a camera hog. That shit does not happen under this set. Look. Okay, I'm excited. I haven't looked into it. I haven't tried it on. I haven't done anything for this video. So I'm going to discover this along with you. The first one that I got. Okay, so I ended up ordering like a crew neck type of sweatshirt. I love sweaters like this. You guys already know, you probably heard it 50 million times on my channel if you are the 1% that watches me 99% of the time. <laughs> this is the cozy fleece boyfriend sweater. These are so freaking cozy and so warm. I love sweaters like this. And this is like so chic and plain. And like I can wear this with slacks. I can wear this with jeans. I can wear this with leggings and really like play up the cool factor and give it a minimalistic but edgy type of look. I don't dress sweaters like this down per se, like with jogging pants. I will take this and go out with it. This is a size small. It's $80. I know it's pricey for like a sweatshirt, but it's supposed to be fleece lined and fleece lined. It's very warming. It's kind of like a performance type of fabric. That is the reason why I got this so I'm hoping that it will keep me nice and warm and help me transition into the spring I'm excited to try this on and if I'm gonna end up keeping it because it has to fit right right so let's see how it looks in three two one if you are into comfort wear and who the hell is not nowadays this is when I highly recommend it's so fluffy it's so freaking fluffy and you feel a fleece under and I'm super warm and cozy. I love it. I mean, it's a regular sweatshirt, not much to say about it, but other than it looks gray, it's warm, it's fluffy, it's cozy. And if you're into that casual wear, this is one I highly recommend. Next is probably a boring piece to the majority of us, but it's also a piece that the majority of us do carry and do have in our wardrobe and if we don't we sure as hell will go to the store to buy it and it is a leggings i mean who doesn't have a pair of leggings at this point in life okay let me rephrase that i do have leggings but i don't have a black legging i don't know how the hell that happened well i did have black leggings but you know the thing is that you wear it so often that you beat it up to death and then i used it to go to the gym and run and so therefore i don't use it like to go out or to dress up on a normal day i wanted to make sure that i purchased a pair of leggings but like that right legging like that legging that has a beautiful material and i'm hoping this is it because leggings come in so many different types of materials and some of them are itchy scratchy some of them feel kind of wool like some of them don't land on my body right they make me feel uncomfortable so it's like a matter of getting the right fabric and the right fit for my body so i wanted to try this one this is by the tna line it's also a size small it says it's sweat wicking second skin and high support and it's just a typical little black legging next is the skirt which if you have seen the shopping vlogs well they're not kind of, well, kind of vloggy my shopping videos you would have seen this skirt this is the faux leather skirt by Aritzia no shit the whole video is about Aritzia Daisy really yeah sometimes I have to talk to myself like that you would have seen this and I loved it so much that I knew I was going to get it and it's such a beautiful piece a bright color creamy color bony winter and 
this is something that I can utilize now in the winter, take it into spring, and that's exactly what I'm planning to do with light sweaters, like in this color, because I'm feeling that, that color wheel. This is a size four, it's $98, and it's called Birch, the color. They have so many different colors of these in Aritzia. It would be easy for me to buy this in black, but I didn't want them in black. I wanted it to have like a brighter color scheme. For a New Yorker, it's really difficult to wear these type of colors, but in a skirt format, I don't think it would be that difficult for me. It, it becomes more difficult when you're like wearing shoes and things like that, because then you're in kind of crowded places and the trains people step on you and things like that, and then you want to kill them, and then it becomes a whole different video. You know what I mean. You already know if you watched my previous videos on Aritzia, I am obsessed with this skirt. I love it. This is just one of the many ways that I would wear it. I like to incorporate it with my white boots that I just recently got in my collection. I also have an unboxing on that if you want to see it. Of course, everything will be linked down below. But this skirt is super comfortable. It's soft and I think it's a winner. I think I'm going to keep it. And then lastly, plain, beautiful light sweater i just wanted it something basic very simple this is a size small this costs 88 dollars this is in black and did i say size small well it's a size small and it's a basic little sweater but i didn't have anything basic like this and sometimes you need basic i love chic monochromatic looks minimalistic looks as well i'm into that there's times i would wear just black and white and it looks so modern and chic and beautiful and a little bit classic but still with the edge like i love getting pieces like that for my wardrobe but that's why i wanted to get something like this it kind of gave me also the kate or kite vibes again it's simple but i wanted something simple and beautiful that I could wear with anything in my wardrobe and this is it but we must try it on and make sure that Daisy approves you sound so funny so Daisy oh my god I think this might actually be a winner you're gonna see the tags on these clothing because I just want to double check and make sure that I actually do want it this shirt feels so luxurious it feels so substantial the midsection this section right here sucks you in like it's one of those like what do you call them those wraparound things that like suck you in. This is a size small and it feels tight, but it's not tight, like an uncomfortable tight. It's more like a cinch you in type of shirt. You know what I mean? Like it's so good. There you have it. Which piece should I keep? And which piece would you wear? 